Greetings, everybody. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 92 of Ash Williams Project Zomboid, which originally aired live on Twitch. Sledgehammer at this Gigamark this whole time would be hilarious. I don't think it's I don't I don't think it's in the, even in the loot tables, so it's mostly a joke. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. It was water that I lost immediately. I was really bad at, like, keeping... I guess I, I just didn't... I didn't go to a lot of the, like, Gigamarts and things like that where they would have had a ton of, um... Where they would have had a ton of, uh, dairy to keep it fresh. But given the challenge that it takes to, like, obtain it early on, I think the benefit of being able to, like, make a cake once ever isn't worth it. In, you know, so it's like a, a cool thing to try to do, but it like doesn't really benefit you at all. Is there anything on the internet about um, if you have to keep compost warm, like temperature for compost? Because I have noticed that like my compost doesn't seem to be doing anything. Is there a way to keep milk fresh long-term in this game? Maybe you can freeze it? So compost just takes a long time. Yeah, I feel like I've had stuff in my compost for a long time, though. But I'm probably just not being patient enough. Oh, I'm overweight. Yeah, I was constantly looking for... Uh, ducks and uh, sledgehammer early on and I, I did you're right sort of ignore food This whole uh, Series for me has been somewhat of a lesson in like resource and time allocation oh, come on. Stupid cameras blocking some of my screen But a lot of uh, pasta, rice, and other dried goods, cereals, and things. That'll keep me going in the winter. I think even the most conservative estimate, I would say I have an enormous amount of stuff for that. Like, there's no way I'm starving in the winter. But this grocery store obviously is loaded. Right, buddy? You can jar foods. I don't think you could jar fruits. I'm not sure, actually. Um, cooking, jar. No, it's mostly vegetables. Tomatoes is the only fruit I think you can jar. Tomatoes, radishes, potatoes, leeks, eggplant, carrots, cabbage, broccoli, bell peppers. I guess bell peppers are a fruit too. Not that anyone thinks of them as a fruit. Did I transfer my, um, yeah, I think I transferred my, uh, no, not into the backpack. Afternoon to you too, Slayer. Yeah, forging is really important. Uh, trapping is really important. Forging, I would say forging for the medicinals when it's not winter season is a real big kicker. Uh, so that you have the poultice type stuff uh, when you need it. But it's only with... It, this game is interesting in that it's only with the experience of, like, surviving um, that you understand the value of items. Because a lot of the, uh, a lot of the recipes are going to be hidden to you, and you won't know what's important for you to loot until you've... until it's rotted, or, in, you know, in, until it's, like, too late. So that's something that's interesting is like your first playthrough um and, and this is true of a lot of survival games that have crafting mechanics is you just don't know what's valuable uh your first pass and that's totally totally normal i remember you know this is also true of like uh uh you know minecraft and roblox and all, all those types of games is without experience you have no idea what matters 
Pet Tusk, huh? I'll call her in. I gave her a holler. We'll see if she shows. Oh, hey, girl. Come here. <laughs> that was quick. She sprinted on in. So I know I didn't I didn't spend the entire day shooting, but I'll I'll probably uh, I'll probably look for trouble tomorrow. Midtown. Always carry lemongrass if you're near tainted water. Three of them will save your life. Yes. Yes. If puppy's a treat. Gotta take it faster, Yoda. You're being hunted by zombies. Can't take your time. I guess a mint kitchen knife I'll do. Nothing like an empty gas can in the trash. Alright, and then here is the storeroom. Ooh, mac and cheese. I do have three dogs, yes. Yep. My third dog doesn't join me willingly. Yeah, this was an enormous amount of canned good loot. I mean, I knew I knew that this place would be chock full of it. Um, so it's no surprise that there's a lot of wonderful stuff here. I've already sort of, I mean, I know zombies can shuffle around. I haven't gone upstairs, but uh, it's, it's too, I'm going to head back now. It's too dark. But that's the entire bottom floor scoured. Completely scoured. Yeah, Echo would be my third dog. And she, uh... She's hard to coax to join me. Now, did I have... Did I put my bowl of, um... Now, here's an empty bowl. Bowl of stew. Here it is. Oh, and probably don't want my, um, all my 38 special rounds in the trunk of the car. It's, that's not going to keep me very well protected. So let's favorite that. All right, heading home with a bounty. You always miss goal submissions? Uh, well, they're about to open up. Oh, also that, car, that vehicle there looks real nice. Six times a charm, given that I have a six round revolver. Some of that was just like me being a, a living potato, not aiming very well, but also the gun sucks. Oh, crap. There's bodies. Bodies, bodies, bodies. What was that noise? I think that noise was Dennis Keith gifting out so many gifted subs, and it just came like 20 minutes late. Unless that was a donation. Maybe that was a donation. I never have that overlay up, because it happens like once a month. How's my carpentry? It's, uh, I think, what, level 9? Yep, 9 and change. Ah, you donated $25. Oh, that's what it was. Alright, let me, uh, well, thank you. Like I said, I never, ever, ever have my donation, um... I should. It's me being irresponsible, but I, I appreciate it. Let me uh, let me open up that overlay now. If I could find it, it's one of these things that that I have the option to do, but like, you know, I no expectation of it happening. 
Well, thank you, Slayer. I appreciate it. God, where is my over... <laughs> I can't even find it. Oh, there it is. I gotta be very careful not to eat any of this rotten food, because I have a weak stomach, so one misclick and I, like, can off myself. I think the mayonnaise, I think you're right, the mayonnaise is never going to um, decompose, so I'm not going to bother. Unexpected giraffe, thanks for gifting out subs as well. Oh yeah, there it is. Dog treats for Tusk, Echo, and, uh, or Tusk and Yoda Echo. Hey, if you tip. It's funny, actually, I, um, Echo loves chewing bones. So I, I just, uh, yesterday, two days ago, um, bought Echo a bunch of chewing bones. She's got, like, uh, cleaner, whiter teeth than even me. But she just loves chewing. But it's annoying. There's not a lot of, like, hypoallergenic chew bones that exist. I wish, uh companies were would make like um, dog treats that were not you know single ingredient but like fewer ingredients so it's easier to accommodate dogs with allergies because she has a lot of allergies it makes it really tough to deal with which dog is the boss um, echo likes to think she's boss And so does Yoda. But uh, I, they also both know I'm boss. So it's one of these that, like, no one's boss. I'm, I'm me. <laughs> they know they know I'm, I'm the big boss man. Which is really convenient because they listen to me uh, very, very well. There's actually a little... I have a little bit of a problem with um, with Echo, where she'll often sort of um, not be mindful of Yoda. She'll like nearly step on him kind of regularly, and I have to scold her, but she just doesn't really get it. She's like, I think, I mean, I'll put it this way: I think she gets it. I think she doesn't doesn't care. Is is the more accurate? Um... Hey, someone else is working on their uh, shooting skill. So I'm constantly scolding her for, like, trampling him. He's never gotten really hurt or anything. But it, I find it annoying that I have to constantly remind her not to step on your brother. Don't step on your brother. It's an ongoing thing, as you can imagine. And what's weird is she's younger, so she, like, grew up around Yoda. So it's not like he was introduced later on. She was introduced later on, right? So, like, she grew up knowing that she shouldn't step on him, but yet she does. Whereas Tusky, she Tusk never does. T -t Tusk, Tusk is very, very careful. So, it's interesting. I've never seen, I've never seen Tusk trample uh, Yoda. Cause you're a good girl. I'll summon you. You're a good girl. <laughs> Look at all this rotted food. Echo holds her nose up too high. Yeah, that's a really good way of putting it. That's a really good way of putting it. I don't think processed cheese is going to decompose. Put that inside. Or in the trash. I don't I don't really know why I looted it. Only to throw it out, but whatever. And the yogurt. Well I conservatively would say I've like probably nearly doubled my like 
dried goods here. Not doubled, but up by it like a third or something. Especially given the rice and the other sort of bulk dry, the pastas. What I should do is, uh, hey, I still have beer. What I should do is round up all my milk and um, put it in the in the farming box outside because it's it's really a farming ingredient once it's rotted. So there we go. Because you can make uh, if you go to farming here, you can make insectus uh, no um, mildew out of milk. They'll do spray. Oh, that box is full. All right, I'm gonna use this backup box. Yeah, dogs that don't know their own strength. I've definitely known a lot of dogs that fit that bill. And they, but Echo knows, Echo is very smart. She knows her own strength. She just, like, can't be bothered not to step on him. It's more of, like, a holier-than-thou scenario than anything else. Which is annoying, because I know for a fact she knows better. She just doesn't care. And it's not one of these things that is easy to train. Um, like, how do you train a dog to not step, right? It's... It's more challenging than it sounds. And I'm a, I'm a pretty good dog trainer, too. I do say so myself. Right? Nihal. Perfectly on cue. Okay, we're almost done uh, emptying out the car. And then uh, I will put up a poll about what I work on next. Let's do that right now. So the rad's choice got voted on and I sort of just picked practice shooting plus looting the grocery store. But this is for my next poll and then after this one the submissions will be open once this gets submitted. So if you want to submit stuff, uh, the, the inbox will be open momentarily. I have almost completely filled up my uh, compost. It's pretty cool. And then we have some jarring stuff. I think, oh yeah, I could jar one thing. Because I now have a lid and a jar, vinegar, sugar, water. Obviously, I have water. I'm running low on pepper, but I have lots of salt. Put the uh, little bear there. And then work and then put everything else away. It would be cool if you could make salted meat. I would, uh... I would think that would be a pretty cool uh, introduction, game mechanics-wise, into the game. 100% with you there. Here, let's eat, let's eat a cupcake for all of our troubles. Oh, wow, I have so much more food to put away. I honestly have so many kilos of dried goods now. I could live for like, I could probably not leave the base for like a year and be totally fine. Especially given that I'm farming too. Because 42 kilos, let's do, let's do quick inventory. 30, 20, 36, 33, 42, three. I don't know, it's, it's a lot of kilograms of like, measuring your food in kilograms is, um... You, probably an indicator that you're doing well for yourself. Another thing that I wanted to do is to defrost some cabbage and potatoes. Let's do that.
and then um, it's throughout the rotted eggs. I don't think they decompose either. If I'm wrong, whatever. It's just a few eggs. Bowls away. Yeah, I have uh, easily like a several hundred pounds of food in uh, Imperial units. Which is why I feel like um, pretty good. <laughs> several hundred pounds of food is a lot of food. Is a lot of food. Even with for a fatty like me that likes to eat enormous amounts of food, it's still a lot of food. Okay. Well, now that you're voting, uh, let me back up the save. It's one in the morning. And you all get to decide what to do tomorrow. Once the poll closes, I will open up submissions for new ideas and refund everyone's ideas that did not get voted for. So it looks like uh, stick traps for birds. It's going to be the thing. Let's finish that off. Backing up the save now. And the submission is open. So I'm only going to do the practice shooting one day. So stick, traps, or birds is what I'm going to work on now. I, I, I don't think... I don't think I'm going to go back to the grocery store's um, second story and spend another day doing that. I'd, I'd rather work on uh, projects that you all specifically tell me to work on. Right, buddy? Oh, you know what's up. That's a big chunker of a carrot. Don't choke, buddy. Oh. Tusk, you want a chunker of a carrot? Come here. Come here, girl. She's so cute. So if I'm working on stick traps, let's um, let's see what we need for that. So trapper, that would be this stick trap here. So it's one twine and uh, four sturdy sticks. And then a sturdy stick is... Well, you'd... You like whittle sturdy sticks. So let's uh, let's hear some twine. We're gonna have to go through my construction boxes for twine. Oh yeah, I have plenty of twine. Okay, I have 22 twine on me. That's gotta be plenty. And All right, I'm gonna pause redemptions. That's a lot already. I think I'm only gonna spend a day on this current task, because I, I don't think that, um... I don't think that, uh... Making bird traps warrants a multiple day, uh... A multiple day approach. That's more time than it... Than is really necessary. I'm gonna bring, uh... Where's my axe? Come on, I just looted, like, so many more... Oh, they're right up here, I'm an idiot. So my reloading almost is a point and a half. You know, I'm leveling up. And uh, even, even though it's not going to be necessarily the voted goal here, I'm going to continue trying to use these snub nose until I run out of ammo for it, and then I'll trade up to the next loudest gun. So I'll, in a way, I'll, I'll consistently sort of graduate to louder guns that cause more, more um, chaos. Did I turn on the oven? Yes, I did. Meat and potatoes. An Irish stew right now. That's what we're working on. You know, if I want to keep my weight up, uh, making sure to have the, like, 
most filling food possible is going to be important. So that's a plus 99 uh, food there. That's a lot. That's some, some heavy food. I need worms for the stick traps. Okay, I have a, I have a shelf full of worms, so that's no problem at all. I've been keeping my worms here, so I have 63 worms. Let's grab uh, 10 of them. Thanks for the heads up glitch. I appreciate it. We're almost done cooking meal for the day. There we go. And heading out 8 a.m. Nice early start. You got bit before you could see them work? Well, time for us to, uh, experiment with them. I can't believe I've not found broccoli seeds yet. Okay, uh, let me move this charcoal. And then, then we'll get going. I have found potato seeds, but the broccoli seeds, I just... I've not yet happened upon broccoli seeds, which is sad, because it's the last crop that I have not yet farmed, and seemingly no chance to do it. But I have a, I have a column... Ooh! Me thinks you're dead. I have a column for it, once it's available to me. You got bit when you found three sludge hammers within the first five minutes of the game? That, that was honestly the kicker of the whole thing that I couldn't find sledgehammers. Is like, sledgehammers are in no way uncommon. It's just that my luck was uncommonly bad. Alright, I'm uh, filling up the car and then the three gas cans in the trunk before trapping. Oh, I'm gonna have to reverse out of here, aren't I? Now, the only other problem with me putting fences here instead of, like, wooden walls or whatever is, um... That there really isn't much stopping zombies from, like, wandering up and eating me while, while I refuel. I mean, I think it will be a little obvious that they're climbing the fence, but still. Okay, done. You found a sledgehammer in the middle of the road next to four cones, so it was like a construction hammer. I mean, that makes sense. Sledgehammers are not supposed to be particularly rare, given their unbelievable utility in this game. So the fact that I didn't find them, I think, was honestly more of a meme. Nice uh, refilling outpost I got there. Thank you. All of my projects, of course, oops, are uh, voted on by you all. So this refilling outpost was, you know, communally suggested, polled, and approved. Which is funny, because in the uh, in the four months and 24 days of survival so far, I have not yet been snuck up on while trying to refuel. I mean, it's not to say that it can't happen, it just hasn't yet. I might not have brought enough cabbages, we'll see. Hey, that's not as uh, f creepy loud. I like almost miss how loud it used to be now because it was so startling. I feel like uh, trapping is a little bit too easy. Wh what do you guys feel? Like maybe on harder difficulties it becomes harder. I'm not sure about that. But like I seem to be able to get 10 times more meat than I need per day by just throwing some cabbages down. 
And also, again, um, 100% success rate with the stick drop traps. I don't know what the deal is, but like these three traps never fail to cap. Like every time, every time they're, this has been like three checks in a row that these have yielded. Okay, so we got, again, another nine rabbits. What difficulty is this? Uh, this is a survivor difficulty, uh, which is sort of the standard. You think I found a good spot in good RNG? Uh, that could be. All I know is I'm getting, like, nine rabbits a day is just goofy. <laughs> right? Like... That's not even, that doesn't, doesn't even make sense. Okay, so I want to... Uh, what is a sturdy stick again? I'm trying to remember. Or... Make sturdy stick, so I need to make plank. So, saw one. Make 30 sticks. So here we go, 24 sturdy sticks, which is a ridiculous amount of sturdy sticks. And then trapping. We've got six uh, stick traps now. Let's place them down. And these are, these are for birds. So we're just varying up our uh, diet, I guess. And this is why I didn't feel like I needed to spend two days on this, because uh, I'd run out of things to do. Let's grab the rest of this. Logs. And then add worms. Traps is supposed to deplete, like, foraging, but it's bugged. Yeah. I figured it was something like that. Because, like, uh, I'm getting, like, a metric ton of meat consistently from these traps, which makes no sense at all. Well, I'm kind of already done with my, um, my traps for the day. So I think what I'm going to do is go back to the Gigamart and go upstairs. I'll leave it up to me. Let me put put away the uh, the logs and scrap wood and stuff. Spend two days in traps and get eleven herbs and spices and open up a new KFC. More like KFZ. Because I think Ash here... Someone in YouTube comments... Sorry, I forget who it was. Mentioned that they... Um, they did a mall burn. And the entire mall has about 6,000 zombies in it. And given that I've burned a little bit more than half... That the mall burn that I ran... Probably killed roughly 3,300 zombies. Is what they were their napkin math was. Which is just ridiculous. <laughs> so much. And yeah, I'll go for the uh, the trunk trunk rabbits in a second. I'm just uh, adding a, a dramatically unnecessary amount of fuel to this fireplace. So now we have seventy, almost seventy two hours of of fuel in that. Um, let's put the saw away. Put the hand axe away. I'm not, or a wood axe, I'm not really sure that, like, I would want to continue, well, it, it depends on fishing, right? Because if you need to bait with worms, then that means you're depleting your, um, your fishing bait. So I, I do, I would say that I think, from a role-playing standpoint, it's nice to have a varied, um, source of meat, not just only rabbit. 
Uh, but given that um, cabbages are a lot more plentiful than um, worms. Let me also check the compost, because maybe I have some worms in here now. Nope, no worms yet. Yeah, I hope I don't get stopped by the police and have to explain nine dead rabbits in my trunk. There's, um... In the U.S., there are, uh, a lot more animal protection laws coming into effect to protect, um, animals from abuse. So... Yeah. I don't know if the, the laws are going to have teeth. That, I have no idea. Alright, let's butcher the other rabbits that I have so that I uh, free up some space. Because at this point, I'm... I have too many... I have too many... Too much rabbit meat. It's, uh, it's getting absurd. I have 17... I, I don't know. I have like 20, 30 dead rabbits on me right now is there's there's however many there are here let's do a quick quick head count just for giggles one two three two four six eight oh dear lord i don't i don't know i'm i'm not gonna count what if you put some starter worms in the compost? I don't think that's how compost works. I think it's just a matter of time. Um, oops. I didn't mean to do that. There's 15 dead rabbits. Come on. No, don't. Really, you're gonna make me butcher it one at a time? I accidentally thawed them out a little too long, so I'm just gonna have to eat a lot of raw rabbit. And that's why it's making me butcher individually. That's fine. It's a huge mistake, but given the amount of dead rabbit I have, uh, it's kind of not a big, big deal. And this one's still frozen. How did they... How did they get... Some are frozen, some aren't? They thawed out at, like, different times. That's what messed with me. Well, here. Om nom nom. Time to gain some weight. Okay. Are these all unfrozen? Yes. There we go. And then I think what I could do is just, even though I cooked these, I'll just refreeze them. And if I can't end up eating them, big deal. I have, like, I honestly have something like 70 dead rabbits. Like, ready to go. I probably should remove the amount of traps that I have going, because it's, it's a totally unnecessary amount. Typing up all your goals now. Just give me a second. So we have got uh, work on the sports car that is in the basement. We've got um, decorate, paint the base, uh, which is kind of a um, a duplicate. So I'm going to remove the duplicate. Sorry, Ice Mage. Uh, we've got uh, build a wooden driveway to the south so that we don't have um, plants grow. Uh, we've got um, loot and shoot, which would be like looting around uh, West Point and shooting it up. Uh, max level carpentry, level up tailoring, and clean the road between mall and shooting range. 
Okay, there we go. So, one through seven, right over there. And I'm going to head back to the Gigamart with what little remains of the daylight and uh, try to figure out what was upstairs. Uh, you're wondering if I have generators. I have all of these. Well, I know the, the pole's a little bit in the way, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten generators uh, sitting there. At this point, I, I, you know, I have... Wow, that was weird. My keyboard inputs stopped working. Oh, I think it's because I tabbed out for the pole. Well, good. I'm sure that felt great smashing into a tree. But that's a good way to get my uh, metalworking up. What's funny is my... I, I had... I don't really like the keyboard I have now. I mean, it's fine. But it's not my favorite. Um, but my last keyboard broke. And, like, I refused to replace it because there wasn't replacement parts for it. Oh, okay, that didn't really hurt at all. And, um... And there still aren't, you know, because of the, um... Semiconductor shortage. There just aren't replacement keyboards that, um... That I can shop for. But the... The funny thing about that was my D key would periodically just not work for my last keyboard. Which was funny because it would cause me to do all sorts of weird things that I didn't want to do. Cursed keyboard. So here we are on the top of the Gigamite. There's not much up here, I don't think. But if we've already fully looted the bottom... Do you mean my keyboard? <laughs> yes, my keyboard didn't work. I don't think there's going to be really anything up here. This is a, not a terrible spot to live early on if you can secure it, though. Really? I... Oh, no, I can't open that window. Okay. Because all you'd need to do is to uh, bash this staircase, and then you've got yourself a giant fortress full of meat and other produce and... Uh, And then a way for zombies not to even follow you. Uh, Kaiki Nasoka, thanks for the follow, by the way. I just noticed. Cheers, and hats off to you. Oh, this poor truck. Okay, I'm gonna spend the remaining of the daylight... Uh, just hauling cars over to the gas station. Give puppies a treat. Come on. Vita Morris! Thanks for the follow as well, and Crash for the resub. Half a year. Mr. Crash? Crash, what are you playing nowadays? I know I got you hooked on uh, Ani. Skyrim? Oh, that's different. I was wondering if it was another engineering game or, or not. Whoa! Fishtail! Let's not kill myself. I don't like how the key to hide your UI is also the key to interact with vehicles. I know I could rebound it 
rebind it. I'm just like lazy or whatever. But uh Whatever. <laughs> Play for 400 hours, still haven't completed the main story. Yeah, I've got to say that um, that as far as Bethesda games go, Skyrim was a good one. I like, I like some of the older Fallouts, but I haven't liked what they've done since much. Uh, you know, I have not a lot of love for Pest Preston Garvey, I'll put it that way. Oh, I already did it. There is a box truck. Uh, that box truck is so totaled, I can't even move it. I, it's too, it's too embedded that it won't, it won't even functionally move. Um. There's an annotated map here. Let's see if it's any good. Read. Do not go here. Uh, I think that's the school. That's, it's telling me not to go. Which is obvious. And then... Be brave, I love you, and I've already been in that house. Okay, so this annotated map has taught me nothing. <sighs> Fine. I have to push them all up. I've already been to the school. There's, it's, it's cleared out. I killed everything there. So there's no point going. I did that very, very, very early on. Did I turn this one off? Yeah. All right, that looks about right. Actually, I think I need to inch this one up a little bit more. I might need to actually find shorter vehicles so that they all match. I might need to find some compacts. Um, so it's like two compacts and a, two long cars. Or three compacts and a long car. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Because essentially, the, uh, the next set of vehicles that barricade this need to be flush here. They're kind of flush, but there can't be much space between or it won't work. Okay, so that's done. Let me find one more vehicle. Yeah, Glitch, you nailed it on the head why I don't like Preston Garvey. There's another settlement that needs your help. It's like, so I show up, kill a few ferals, and then you'll ask me to do it again infinitely more. Skyrim didn't have a lot of... Um, Emergent or Radiant AI or whatever they call it, like the sort of, you know, that sort of content. Um, but what it did have was okay, you know, like the bandit attacks and things like that that were sort of random events. But uh, for, for Fallout, it was just annoying. It was like a, an annoying chore that no one wanted to do. Yeah, rating quests of the way of the future. I mean, they would be if they were like interesting. I mean, that was another that was another thing that um, Oblivion suffered from is like once you close an Oblivion gate or two, uh, there are thousands more and they're all the same, right? Like you could probably spend a thousand hours in Oblivion closing gates on the hardest difficulty, and after you close the first like four, there's no reason to close anymore, not really. But there are. You, you, it never ends. Like, you can always close more gates. <laughs> but it's just not fun. You know? It lost its... I don't know. It just... It also sort of reminds me of the games that have, like... You know, I'm looking at you, Assassin's Creed, where it's like, collect a thousand feathers. It's like, cool. That's fun. Get out of my neighborhood. Yeah, the collection quests for those sort of open world games to add 
Uh, what does it even add? To add time that it takes to beat the game or whatever? I guess I don't care for it all. Like, go find 50 feathers and go find, like, 60. It's like, nah, I don't care. No thanks. I'll, I'll pass. Oh, I did not attach it. Because there was a zombie. Yeah, video game busy work. That's a good way of putting it. I don't care much for video game busy work. Nope, stop. Wrong trunk. Whereas uh, RimWorld hits, hits the nail on the head, where the quests are obviously randomized, uh, but don't feel chore-like. With that said, I'm not sure I'd want to host like guests over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, because that does get boring. But I would say RimWorld does a much better job of sort of random questing and events than 99% of other games. Um, all right, I'm gonna leave that vehicle there. It's getting dark. I'm down to one headlight. I'm getting tired and I'm encumbered. So it's time to turn in. So it looks like loot and shoot overwhelmingly the uh, popular choice here. Let's see, 87 hours of fuel. It's pretty good. I feel like I'm close to outgrowing this um, stub nose. What does loot and shoot entail? It means me going into the city and uh, just shooting everything, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> you know, practicing my, my shooting skill and looting everything that I, I think is of value. And it's a pretty simple task. It's honest work. Ooh, I've got some cabbages that are rotting. Well, not rotting, but they're on their way out. You do make a fair point, uh, Venix, which is like... This game is pretty cyclical as well, but... It's also up to what you want to do. So... You know, if I if I wanted to set up like 50 traps, then of course I would have the responsibility of continually um, tending to those 50 traps and it would become very chore-like, which is why I do sometimes veto, um, uh, I sometimes veto suggestions that are just like way more chore than they're worth, but I don't, I don't veto very often. But you got to be careful because it, it's very easy to fall into the, um, into sort of like a chore-like scenario. Ooh, I need more metalworking. In fact, actually, instead of that, give me a metal sheet. I'm going to fix my uh, hood. Give me a light bulb. Give me two light bulbs. I bet both my headlights are pretty screwed up. How much gas do I have? Infinite. I have an infinite amount of gas. Unless my gas station gets overrun, which is unlikely. I'll never run out. 
Oh, my windshield's gone, too. Oh, well. That's what I get for smashing things. Well, who needs a windshield, right? This is also true of uh, real life. Not that I'm want to be your life coach, but um, that even in real life, like like living in a house that's lar like only live in a house as large as you wish to upkeep it. Like that would be a life tip I would have for a lot of you. As much fun as it'd be like, I live in a mansion. It's like, yeah, but do you want to clean a mansion? Or pay someone to clean the mansion? You know what I mean? It's like, you could definitely... Set yourself up. Oh, I shouldn't have put that light bulb back. It's burned out. Oh, well. You could definitely set yourself up for, like, a lot more work by, you know... by setting yourself up for, uh, ha you know, having too much maintenance from anything. Whether it's like, oh, you know, I think it would be really cool to have an antique car, but it's like, unless you want to spend a significant amount of time doing car maintenance as a, as a, like, a repetitive or redundant task, you're probably not going to enjoy that. You know? And, and that's true of a lot of things. Like, for me, it's, um, you know... Uh, like a, a common cyclical task that I would have would be um, like dog stuff. That's a good example. Because I have three dogs, so obviously I'm constantly vacuuming. Obviously. Uh, I'm pretty regularly feeding them and, you know, uh, all the work that comes with owning dogs. I totally understand the whole, like... Um, parents saying, oh, you'll get a dog when you're older and you're responsible for taking care of it because it's a lot of work. And, uh... And it's not something that, uh, unless you absolutely want to spend your day that way, it's not something that I think people should shoulder on their own. And like, unless you've decided that's exactly how you want to spend your, your day. So it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of time. I probably spend, like, an hour a day on the, not even, like, the exercising them and stuff like that. And that's a whole nother can of worms. I feel like even I do a pretty poor job of it, I'll admit. But I feel like the average person probably massively understimulates their dogs. And then they're like, ah, oh, my dogs are, like, rambunctious and destructive. And it's like, yeah, because they're bored out of their mind. I'd get a Roomba, Roomba for my dogs, but, like, I would just have a destroyed Roomba after, like, an afternoon. Echo would not allow a Roomba to patrol the house uh, undestroyed. <laughs> the death stare of the rubber duckies? Well, what if I said that the ducks are always watching you? <laughs> I haven't used that in a while. Not that I actually found a duck. Aww, the stew gives me unhappiness. Oh well. Alright, I think uh, I think it's late enough. Let's head to sleep. And tomorrow will be a run and gun, loot and shoot kind of day. Let me back up the save. Alright, you know, I'm going to actually uh, reboot the entire game. Because this game starts to run. Like, molten garbage, if you don't. So, current project is loot and shoot. That was Pinkalink's suggestion. You want me to pet Yoda, this guy?
Yo, did you deserve pets? He says yes. Backup's almost done. There it goes. Echo, you want a treat? You gotta hop on the couch. You know the you know the cost. Summon, Echo, right here. Thank you for tuning in to Ash Williams Project Zomboid, which originally aired live on Twitch. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of Ash Williams Project Zomboid, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timer to upcoming streams. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.